Mark Esconti reporting. Going to explore some fresh blood today. Let's explore some fresh blood. Good names. Good people running in the Democratic Party, right? Names that we don't even know of, right? We know a little bit about them. And then maybe, you know, scraping together one or two percent of the vote. So let's take a look at two of them, right? I, I gave a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of attention to Sanders because again, he's the he's the name brand. He's the creator of most of the policies that the Democratic Party is running on. He was cheated in 2016. He should have run against Trump and beat Trump. But that's neither here nor there. So let's look at the fresh blood coming up from out of nowhere, coming rising, right? So yesterday, look at um so here's my uh here here is my uh here's my uh poll. <laughs> here's the poll, right? Remember the poll I did in Washington Square Park, right? I did a poll in Washington Square Park on May 7, 2019. Seems like a year ago, but it was last week, last Saturday, right? I was out in Washington Square Park. I interviewed 106 people, uh, cast ballots. They, I allowed them to cast a ballot. Bernie Sanders, 38% of the vote. Elizabeth Warren, 16. Beto, Bay, Biden, uh, Harris, Booker, right? All these, these, these right here, right? The only progressives that I care about really are Bernie Sanders. Elizabeth Warren was very surprising that she pulled 16% of the vote. But let's look at Andrew Yang. Oh, damn, I like this guy, man. He's a New Yorker, fucking Andrew Yang. And Tulsi Gabbard, who, again, only pulled 2% of the vote. Right? That's, you know, what's going on, Tulsi? What's going on with that shit, right? Told, you know, the heart of liberal Manhattan, right in the middle of Washington Square Park, can't pull 2% of the vote. There's something to think about there. So so let, let me just say, why am I down? Why am I, why am, why do I care about new? Why do I care about a new president? new policy, new ideas, because Trump is abysmal failure, right? And if you don't see that and you don't, you can't grasp that, if you can't get your ass around that fact, then this is not really, this is no longer your channel, right? Just to, just to clarify, Trump, right? Trump created, a, he, he's cre- created a new swamp. Don't you see it, right? He's, he's right now, the whole Russiagate is now part two. They're going to go after, they're going to go after, uh, all the swamp creatures, right? But the fact is he created a new swamp. He's got Bolton, Abrams, Pompeo, fucking Pence, Mnuchin from Goldman Sachs, right? Surrounded in the swamp. He created a brand new disgusting swamp. He lied about Venezuela, right? He lied about it. He said it's a humanitarian crisis. It's not. We proved it isn't, right? <clears throat> He's escalating the war in, in Yemen, Syria, Iraq. He's, he gave tax breaks to the, to the large and handouts, corporate handouts to the largest banks and corporations in America. They don't need the money, right? They don't pay tax, right? They evade tax when you give them breaks. Julian Assange, he threw Julian, Trump threw Julian Assange under the bus. Why, why? He threw him under the bus. Julian Assange was instrumental in getting Trump recognized, right? And, and, and talked about and showed the corruption inside the DNC. What does Trump do? How does he pay the favor? He takes him, he throws him under the bus. He locks him up in jail. In, in Belmarsh, in, in, it's terrible. No wall. He didn't lock up Hillary Clinton. He's, Hillary Clinton's on fucking doing a book tour laughing at us. Laughing at us. <clears throat> yeah, but it's coming. I know. I know. Russiagate 2. We got, we, got the, we got the new guy coming in to do it, right? Another two years. Right? He escalated the drug war, right? He's, he's, he's not against, he's not for, he's not for marijuana legalization. He's not for drug de-escalation. He's for escalating it. Keep everybody in prison, right? No health care whatsoever, Trump. Going to get something much better. What? Nothing. Absolutely nothing for the people. He's a friend of big pharma. He's a friend of big oil. And he's a friend of military industrial complex. So that's why we look at others to get rid of this idiot. Right? Time to go, yo. Time to go, yo. So before we look at Yang, we'll look at Yang first, and then we'll look at Tulsi, right? So this is this is some of the things that I had been talking about for the last year, right? And whenever a candidate falls into this realm of reason, then they're going to get, you know, at least this report is uh, former candidate for the United States Senate's attention, right? So and the Federal Reserve, break up large banks and technical tech companies, hundred percent election integrity. That means paper ballots, right? Raise tax on the corporations of billionaires to 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. 80
You don't like it? I just made it 90%. Uh, cap individual income tax at 10% for, for regular people. Maybe less. Maybe nothing. Right? Um, there's something that, that Andrew Yang brings up, which is a basic universal income that I want to talk about because it's really good. It's a really, really good idea. That's what this show's about right now. Today, this video is about new ideas, right? New ideas, right? Make, make uh, tax evasion and tax avoidance illegal again because right now it's legal, right? right? Bribes, bribing people, it's all legal, right? Uh, cut the military spending by 80%, right? Free universal single-payer health care. That's how you pay for it, right? How do you pay for it? How do you pay for it? You pay for it by cutting out the middleman, right? You cut out the big pharma. Get rid of them, right? Not big, not the pharmaceuticals, but the, you know, insurance companies. Get rid of them. City and state uh, universities, tuition free, right? Expunge most of the student debt. I say all, but most of it, 90% of it should be eradicated. Conversion to 90, 90%, 95% wind and solar, right? Nuclear, explore nuclear, right? Get rid of, get us off fossil fuels, right? These are some of the ideas. Close the FBI, CIA, right? Enforce immigration laws, full right to bear arms, legalize all drugs, end mass incarceration, give people a living wage, right? So that's what Conti's all about, right? That's what I'm all about, right? Trump represents, does not represent anything Really, other than attacking the media. Oh, he's so smart. He's so savvy. Oh, he's a fucking, you're a fucking 4D chess player. God damn it. So let's look at, uh, let's listen to Yang, right? So so Andrew Yang, I was going to head out to the, uh, I was going to head out yesterday and watch um, the Yang, <laughs> the Yang gang, he calls him. Look at the numbers. He's got some good good phrases, man. His math hat, math, you see him wearing math hat, make, it means Make America think hard. Oh man, I fucking like this guy, man. That um, Yang Gang, part of the Yang Gang, right? He's for student. Uh, we'll look at his his profile after. Let's just listen to what he has to say. Very chas- charismatic guy. I like this guy. They're going to roll out a self serve kiosk in every location in the United States by 2020. That's next year. What's that going to mean for all the people that used to work there as their first job? They're out of a job, that's right. When you call a customer service line and you get a bot, you probably do the same thing I do, which is you pound zero, 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 human, human, until they get a human. I do the same thing, those bots are irritating. But in two or three years, the bot's gonna sound like this. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? What can I do for you? And I'll say, hey, can you take care of this? they like, sure thing. It's not gonna be as seductive as I make it sound. For some reason, my bot voice is a little bit sexier than the AI's gonna be. But it's going to be really on point you're going to be crazy. You know what? He's got charisma, man. This guy could carry it, bro. This guy is the real shit, man. I'm glad that I've seen him really for the first time, to be honest with you. I, fucking, I read his shit and I didn't really, I wasn't really getting it. I wasn't really, I wasn't really jiving with it, but he's, he's got, he's got talent. He's got talent. Better. And there was one guy in DC who said this to me that brought me here to Unite New York City. He said, Andrew, you're in the wrong place. No one here in Washington, D.C. is going to do anything about this set of problems because here in Washington, D.C., this is not a town of leaders. This is a town of followers. It's a bold statement. And the only way we are going to do anything about it is if you create a wave in other parts of the country and bring that wave crashing down on our heads. And that's why I'm here with you tonight in New York City. Uh, so he's got some good stuff, man. So, but here's his big policy, right? Universal uh, freedom dividend, universal a thousand dollars a month for everybody, right? Now you say, holy shit, you can't do that. The guy's a socialist, right? Listen, thousand dollars a month, right? Before you go into it, right? It's it's um, basic b basic uh, income something. I forgot what it is, right? Basic universal income, b i u b u i, right? Basic income, right? Where you give everybody $1,000. Everybody over the age 18 gets $1,000, right? Now, there's a concept, right? You may not know this concept called velocity of money. When you give billionaires a million dollars, right? They take 95% of it and they put it in their pocket or they put it out on the shelf because they don't need to spend it, right? But if you give regular people a a million dollars, they spend, well, not a million, but if you give regular people you know, half of their yearly income, like, you know, 12 grand a month, uh, 12 grand a year, they spend all of it, right? 
they spend it and they spend more. They they actually go one step further. So they'll have their 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 salary, whatever money you make, plus a thousand dollars a month to to re, to fall back on, so that you're not starving to death in the event that uh, that the economy goes south on you, right? So it stimulates the economy. Why? Because people take that money and they spend it. They don't hoard it. They get rid of all of it and it stimulates the economy, right? That's what you want to do. You want to stimulate the economy. You don't stimulate the economy by giving banks billions of dollars that they sit on it. Uh, you give it to the people. A people, a people stimulus. That's how it works. So let's hear let's hear Yang explain it. It would make us all mentally healthier and less stressed out. It would create more than two million jobs because most of the money would be spent right there in our communities. Am I right, New York? It would get spent on your rent checks, car repairs. You don't own a car. What am I talking about? We're in New York. And subway price hikes. No. Nights out. The occasional night. No, booing the subway. That's true. I'm a New Yorker, too. I rode that. Subway here, it works, thank goodness. I was like, man, I'm taking a risk taking the subway to my own rally. It's gonna go badly. I'm not running for mayor of New York or anything. I'm running for president of the United States, right, New York? I like him. The freedom dividend would circulate over and over again through our economy. This is the trickle up economy from our people, our families, and our communities up. Trickle up economy. Wow, what a genius, right? What a genius! This guy's from uh, just a background. He's uh, he's he's born in born in Schenectady, and he's from um, his parents are from Taiwan. He's not Chinese. He's he's Taiwanese. There's a difference, right? Taiwan is a little island off of China. It's not Taiwan. It's not Thailand. <laughs> parents are from Taiwan. Right? All PhDs, all fucking higher, you know, overeducated folks. And this would work. We know it would work. And right now, the Democratic Party talks about empowering women. Here in New York, we know that there are thousands of women and millions nationwide that are in exploitative or abusive jobs. Are- all right, so he goes on to talk about all that stuff. So let's look at uh, let's look at his policy. Here's where I, here's where I, I have a problem. Right? See, Mr. Yang, you see all of these words. These are all your policies. It's too much, man. You got to give it to me on one page, right? Because I'm 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 shallow and I don't have a lot of time, right? I'm not going to pop open all this bullshit. Right, so that's that's a fundamental problem. Stop being so wordy, right? Get get down to the point. But his is his is universal basic income. I think I butchered it, but universal basic in, income. Give everybody a thousand dollars a month. It's a very innovative, very interesting idea to explore. Now, in terms of who's going to pay for it, right? It's a if you do the math, based on two hundred. Uh, million Americans over the age of 18, you'd come up with, um, you know, basically $200 billion per month. So you're talking about a, a two and $2.4 trillion stimulus from the ground up. Right? I'd rather give it to people than to give it to banks and other, you know, other uh, jack offs that take the money and put it in their pocket right? and don't reciprocate, right? So it is a, a fundamentally good idea. Medicare for all, he's for, of course, of course, of course, right? And uh, human-centered capitalism, you know, that's what he was talking about, that we're all we're becoming too animated, too machine-oriented. So, you know, Mr. Yang, Mr. Yang got, uh, not that guy. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, that's uh, fucking, that's Trump's swamp creature, right? War. That's how you stimulate the economy, Mr. Bolton. War. We don't want war. More war. Give us more war, right? All right but um, so Yang got five percent of my vote, and um, let's see, you know. So let's look at the. Let's move on to Tulsi Gabbard. I love Tulsi Gabbard. Right? Check her out. She got two percent of my vote. We'll see. Now exclusively, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii, a combat veteran and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate. You know, what's your reaction to that? You heard Kellyanne Conway, counselor to the president there. What we are hearing is is an increased saber rattling intention saying the United States needs to send in the U.S. military now to wage yet another wasteful counterproductive regime change war. And once again, it's being done under the guise of humanitarianism. When we look throughout history, every time the United 
United States goes into another country and topples a dictator or topples a government, the outcome has been disastrous for the people in these countries. That's why we should use our leadership in the world to try to broker a diplomatic solution working with countries like Russia that have great influence over Venezuela so that there is a peaceful outcome because I can tell you as a soldier, Martha, I've seen firsthand the high cost of war and pushing for this civil war, pushing for the use of military force will only end up with more suffering and death and disaster for the Venezuelan people. What to speak of increasing these tensions that threaten our own national security. Anytime we're in this situation where you have tensions being ratcheted it up and this conflict being pushed closer and closer between nuclear armed countries like the United States uh, and countries like Russia and China. This is something that poses an existential threat to the American people. Right, so she speaks from the heart. She really grasps the idea, right? Puts it, puts it to the test, puts Venezuela to the test, tells the truth about Venezuela. There's no humanitarian crises. That's a candidate for the president of the United States. Now, I love Tulsi Gabbard on politics, on, on the, the foreign policies. So powerful, so strong. Now, I, I may differ in, in the sense that I don't think that that's the principal focus. And it seems that that's all we hear about. When we see Tulsi Gabbard in, you know, in, the, in the mainstream media, that's all she seems to talk about is the, is the uh, insurgency wars. Not to say that that's not important, but to, to, for the American people... Then you go to her site, and um, again, she's 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 not. I I, I got to say it. I mean, I think Andrew Yang is really he's like charismatic. He's personable. He can definitely you could put that guy in front of a big crowd, and he'll 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 you know he'll rev the crowd up, right? That's what you need, right? It's like you got to be one part you know wrestler. You got to Trump has it, you know, but Bernie has it, right? But I don't know. Tulsi Gabbard hasn't shown that flair yet. Andrew Yang has it, right? And the rest of them are shit sandwiches. Forget about Beto. Forget about uh, the rest of those guys, Camilla Harris. Those are corporatist scumbags, right? Those people don't have Joe Biden. Forget about them. Forget about them. No way. I mean, Elizabeth Warren is compromised. If, she, if Sanders gets the nomination and picks her, that's a winning team. I, I, I would go with that. I'd rather see him pick Tulsi Gabbard or Yang, one of these guys, right? But uh, nonetheless, I, he should... If Sanders takes the nomination, he should surround himself with all of these these two folks for sure, right? So Tulsi campaign finance reform, yeah, we we all want that. Criminal justice reform, economy, jobs, end the war in Syria, the environment. She's for they're all for a green new deal, right? They're all for climate change, you know, uh, uh, de-escalation of climate change, um, student loan forgiveness. I think um, Yang came out very forcefully on that one. Uh, Medicare, Medicare for all, right? So, I again I, more clarity. I, I would say to both of these candidates, just get, give me a one page. Can you give me goddamn one page? So Tulsi Gabbard and um, I, I like the I, I like it. I mean, we're talking about new ideas. I know you love guys love Trump. Some people there's still twenty five percent of the company to, uh, country to wrap themselves up in that Trump. Oh, my president, I love my president. My president is going to drain the swamp. My president is going to drain the motherfucking swamp, man. He's going to swamp the swamp, and then he replaces it with a new swamp, right? That's fucking Trump, right? So, you know, hey, listen, man. I'm, I, right now, I got, I'll got. i go with the winner. I'll stick with the winner. I think the, the, the uh, polls that we saw from the mainstream media, the fake polls that put... Uh, Joe Biden up front. It's just a fake. It's full, it's totally fake. They're 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 polling people over fifty. They're polling people with uh, landlines. They're they're deliberately rigging the the response. And I think Bernie Sanders even came forward and said it. He said, "Yeah, that was that that poll didn't represent was a poor representation of the people." So uh, Sanders is flexing a little muscle, a little muscle. I, hey, look, I'd like to see. I think come you know. Uh, June, right? We're, almost, we're we're getting there. Next month, we're going to see some debates. We're going to see these guys go head to head. Maybe a few of the shit sandwiches will drop out. Right? So I'm officially taking Andrew Yang off my shit sandwich list, and I'm placing him on a uh, a new list called the uh, the people real fresh meat, <laughs> fresh fresh ideas. Right? So I like Andrew Yang. I like uh, 
I like Tulsi Gabbard. I like, of course, Bernie. I think Bernie Sanders should be the candidate, um, and he should then borrow, emer- uh, evolve a little bit on guns. All right, so these folks are they're Democrats, so they're all going to be somewhat for uh, gun regulation, right? They got to come down on that, right? As long as they don't push for it and they leave it up to the states, then we're good, right? I don't see any any. I don't see Yang and 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 the other one. Um, pushing for gun control. I only see the corporate Democrats doing that, it's trying to sell it because they're they're into oppression. That's what they, that's what they're all about, right? The Republican Party. They're all about you know oppressing the people. So, so uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I I like uh, I'm I'm for these two candidates. I like to see them definitely in the debate. Um, you know, battle it out. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. If you can become a Patreon of this channel. I'll make a one-time contribution at uh, PayPal. I appreciate that. That's how we keep it going. And also uh, buy some stickers on eBay, six for five. If you become a Patreon, you get them for free. And don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conte reporting.